creatinine kidney disease before we go, we go into diet let's talk about creatinine so what is creatinine creatinine is a waste product produced from our body muscles it is continuously produced in the body it is continuously filtered by the body in urine however in ckd the production remains normal but the filtration is reduced so continuous production and reduced filtration or clearance of creatinine causes creatinine to increase in the blood this is when you see that your serum creatinine is high in your report and we diagnose as ckd now many people think that eating certain things will either they increase their creatinine or decrease their creatinine and they restrict their diet too much they actually develop malnutrition and lose a lot of muscle mass due to this reduced muscle mass creatinine production actually reduces and we get a low creatinine in the blood test this is absolutely wrong as in this case low creatinine value does not mean the kidney is improving the creatinine is actually low due to reduced production so we get a false feeling that the kidney is actually getting better but this causes malnutrition and causes weakness it also increases the risk of infection due to malnutrition so this is creatinine which was muscle dependent we have more than 100 such toxins which we cannot measure routinely they continue to increase and damage the body as their level doesn't depend on muscle mass so with reduced muscle mass creatinine becomes low but other toxins keep increasing in the blood keep damaging the body once you develop such a weak body further treatment like dialysis and transplant becomes more and more risky so if diet changes do not reduce creatinine then why do we need to change our diet kidney is a filter its main function is to remove waste products which are mainly produced from what we eat the filter function is reduced in ckd hence we need to make some changes in our diet to reduce this waste generation and accumulation these toxins can harm our body just for example as the phosphorus increases in our body it can cause heart disease so what are the diet changes let me simplify this for you i divide diet changes into five parts this is the first part and we are going to discuss changes with respect to water and salt intake so let me talk about fluid and water intake it's a common conception that drinking more water detoxes your kidney and keeps them healthy uh, well this may be true but not when it comes to ckd most kidney diseases cause water retention and causing swelling of body which is also known as edema in medical language so what is the allowed quantity i suggest restricting liquids including water to around 800 ml to 1200 ml per day this is enough to carry out general functions of the body in normal conditions i understand that it's easy for me to say but equally difficult for you to cut down water intake so start gradually for example reduce fluid intake by 250 ml every week allow your body to get adjusted to this reduced fluid quantity i have some other tips to reduce thirst and to control your water intake avoid salty and fried food they are anyhow not healthy and they make you feel more and more thirsty you can also use paneer or hung curd instead of milk and use thick dal or gravy instead of watery pulse see the whole idea is to reduce uh, the liquid intake and take things in condensed form distribute your liquid intake throughout the day using small glasses or cups use cold water as it quenches thirst better take medications with meal time beverage and not with extra water later on there are some xylitol and mint based chewing gums available or you can also keep cardamom seeds in your mouth which will help you to avoid dry mouth and help you to control the water intake now let's talk about salt restriction so reduce salt but do not stop the salt intake so this is the key most people commonly stop taking salt completely which is actually wrong we all need salt for our body especially the brain uh, for normal functioning needs salt or sodium so how much should be the amount of salt which a person can take the recommendation says we have to take less than 3 g per day however 
on an average indian diet contains 11 to 12 gram of salt per day so for me it is easy again to say restrict salt but it is difficult for you to cut down salt it is equally difficult to measure the salt what you take so i advise to reduce salt gradually remember we have to reduce and not stop salt also you can remove your portion of the meal before the salt addition while cooking and add salt later there are salt packets of 1 gram which are available in the market and this will actually help you to measure and add salt later after the food is cooked now there is a lot of buzz around with various salt available in the market they are like low sodium salt they are also known as pink salt black salt himalayan salt basically all type of salts have sodium so i have also made a table which shows sodium content in all these type of different salts we need to understand that sodium content in these salts can vary very little between 33 to 38 grams per 100 gram of salt content so it doesn't make any difference whatever salt you consume the sodium content almost remains the same however there are some salt like light salt or super light which compensate for low sodium by actually adding the potassium which can be harmful in ckd patients to add to the surprise there are some chemicals used in cooking contains salt ranging from 25 to 30 milligram per 100 gram for example ajinomoto used in chinese food baking powder used in bakery all these contain lot of sodium let me give you practical tips to reduce salt and or sodium in your daily diet i suggest to gradually cut down salt over a few weeks so that your body and taste buds get adjusted do not compensate with foods with hidden salt in them like pickle papar chutneys sauces salted butter nuts ready to eat meals processed foods canned foods fast foods meals made with monosodium glutamate it should be limited or avoided now many people complain that they have stopped eating after salt restricted diet due to no taste at all so i suggest them to use taste enhancer or salt mimicker which actually can replace for the salt to some extent like tamarind lemon grated mangoes vinegar marinated a uh, marination process also can mimic like salt and increases the taste you can also use spices and herbs and condiments like ginger garlic onion kokum cinnamon cloves nutmeg cumin black pepper they can enhance the taste and make the food tasty believe me this can make your food healthy and tasty this brings us to the end of first part where i discuss about diet changes in ckd with respect to salt and water or liquid intake do you also think that eating protein can damage your kidney do see my next video where i discuss protein in ckd diet thank you mm -hmm.